Welcome to Friday Fun Folds. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little envelope gift pouch holder. Now, rather than using an existing envelope, I created my own out of designer paper. There's a little tag on the inside. You can either put a gift card, um, you can include a holiday photo, or you can simply write in your greeting. So why don't we get started? First thing you're going to need to grab is a paper trimmer with scoring blade. You also want a piece of designer paper that's been cut to six inches by nine inches. Now I'm going to flip it over and when you do that make sure that you have the ornaments aligned in the direction that you want or whatever pattern you happen to be using. I'm going to score this paper at three and three quarter inches, seven and a half inches, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, again making sure that my ornaments are facing in the right direction, and I'm going to score it at one inch. You now put aside your paper trimmer and you're going to want to grab your bone folder. So very carefully fold along your crease lines, making sure that you match the edges of the paper just in case your crease lines weren't perfectly straight. Now, I'm going to want to cut off this rectangle and this rectangle using my paper snips. And what I'm doing in cutting off the bottom rectangles like this is I'm actually creating the bottom flap for my envelope. Once you've done that, next thing you're going to want to grab is some snail adhesive. I'm going to fold this flap closed and then I'm just going to put a strip of snail adhesive all the way down the long flap and then fold that closed and seal it well. I'm now going to grab my corner rounder and round the bottom corners of my envelope flap. just like that. I'm going to carefully put another strip of sticky strip along the bottom and then fold that shut and make sure it's sealed. So this is what your envelope now looks like. Now you're going to want to go ahead and grab a paper trimmer. Now although this isn't absolutely necessary, I like the effect that it gives and I'm going to make sure it's in there tightly and while I'm gripping the handle tightly feeding it through the paper trimmer. Now I do find that in the section where the flap is, because it's three layers thick, it doesn't always crimp as nicely. So you may have to go through a second time. So you've now got your envelope base crimped. You want to grab yourself a one and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to flip my envelope over so that I've got the seams at the top and I'm going to flip my circle punch over. And I'm going to slide it in and center it and then punch. So you can now see I've got a little half circle. So why don't we set this aside for just a moment. Next thing you're going to want to do is to grab a top note and I die cut this out of ruby red cardstock. Now I'm very carefully going to align the edges and then I'm going to hold it down on my grid paper and then grab myself a bone folder and crease. Now if there's any place that your crease isn't perfectly even, you can just grab some paper snips and trim off any excess that overhangs. Just like that. Now grab yourself a 1 16th inch handheld punch and a couple of silver brads. And what you now want to do is to punch a couple of holes as close to the inside edge as you can. My hole is just to the inside of the dotted line. Now before I insert my silver brads, what I want to do is go ahead and stamp my greeting on there. And for that I'm going to grab my stamp -a jig 
and I'm using a Merry Christmas greeting and I'm just going to position my plastic sheet where I want, align my stamp majig and then go ahead and stamp my greeting in basic black plastic ink. Once your greeting stamped, you can now go ahead and grab your brads and insert them into the holes that you already punched. Now make sure when you open up the prongs that if you have to, you rotate them a little bit so that they don't stick out over the edge. So you've now got the top of your gift pouch. I'm going to grab a 16 inch piece of craft taffeta ribbon and I now want to tie it to the side. So before I do that, I'm just going to position it, make sure that the ties are where I want them to be, and then I'm just going to go ahead and tie that in a knot. And this is really more for decoration rather than actually holding anything closed. So once you've tied your knot, you can go ahead and trim the ends of your ribbon. like so. Now you can put that aside for a moment and you're going to need to grab yourself a piece of ruby red cardstock that's three and a quarter by four and three quarters and a piece of whisper white cardstock that's three and one eighth by four and five eighths. Now grab yourself a stamp and I'm using a reindeer here and I'm inking him up in chocolate chip and I'm going to stamp him in the corner of the whisper white cardstock. I'm then going to grab a ruby red stamp and write marker and I'm just going to color in his nose. Now you're going to want to flip that over and put some snail adhesive on the back and then center and stick it on the ruby red cardstock. Now grab yourself a scrap of that ornament designer paper and I'm going to punch with my round tab punch and then just fold that tab in half and use some snail adhesive on both sides and then you're going to wrap that around your gift tag just like so. Once you've done that, you simply insert that into your envelope so that it looks like that. And then to get it into the top note holder, you just very carefully slide it in. Oops. Just have to go slowly when you're doing this so it doesn't catch in the edges and then just adjust it. And there you have it. It's fast, easy, and fun. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to stamping with you again.